Hey there, Cancer. Uh, welcome to your reading for the second half of November. This is your love reading. Uh, this month I go live every single day at 5. So if you want to catch me at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, notification icon. But let's see what we have going on for you. I feel like I need one more shuffle. So uh, sorry about that, but got to listen to the cards. Am I right? All right, Cancer. Uh, what do we have coming in for you? Love. <laughs> Big time, I would say. Uh, let's keep going here before I open my mouth, and all right, perfect. Uh, you start off as the Queen of Hearts and the Eight of Hearts, so I feel like that there is probably a water sign or a nurse sign both pretty much show up here uh, coming in for you as well, and I feel like this is going to be a really good match for you as well. Very kind, nurturing energy here. Uh, Eight of Hearts, manifesting your romantic fantasies here on Earth. Literally, the card of manifesting your perfect mate, your perfect match, so I feel like a lot of you have been putting work into doing that. Again, some of you could have just been, you know, you could have been taking the time to, do, to actually do that, and this card says you are very strong at manifesting things right now this is you so um, again I feel like you could be strongly manifesting your perfect match at this time it hearts you really can't beat it as far as love is concerned it is a gift from the universe it is like a karmic payback so if you've been through any difficult circumstances in a past relationship this can say the new thing that's coming in for you is a perfect match it's kind of like the universe paying you back for all the you know energy or any hard times or anything like that uh, next you have the ace of hearts and the uh, three of clubs so yeah I feel like this is true love is what this is saying. I feel like this is going to be a very strong connection, if you, especially if you're in a new connection. By the way, like I said, if you're already in a relationship, it looks amazing, number one. Uh, if you're not in a relationship, again, I feel like this is like you getting a second chance at love. I don't feel like this is somebody coming back from the past. Uh, this is my card of second chances, but um, what I would say is you're getting a second chance at this right here, which is like your emotions overflowing, being really happy, having things kind of go your way in regards to love. So I feel like that's the second chance that you are getting. And um, again, this is card of very strong independence. It's that, you know, threes to me can represent being very independent at this time. So I feel like it's saying that your kind of independent independence is attracting this happy life. Uh, this is also the card of the home. So again, uh, what else do we have here? Uh, so some of you could be, yeah, some of you could want a very strong relationship. You could want to be in a relationship that's more, um, you know, more kind of like a home, you know, that feels like a home that's safe, secure, comfortable, protected, all of those things. And I feel like that's what you are attracting into your life. I do feel like somebody is coming in very strong for you. Again, uh, if you're not getting out there, I would. You do have the card of online dating here. So again, I feel like you're probably one of the few signs that has gotten this card and that I feel like could online date at this time. Uh, like I said to others, when Uranus is retrograde, uh, it's not the best time for online dating. Uh, although I tell people that you should still do it because you never know. Number one, Uranus goes both ways. So, um, you, know, you know, again, I would still do it. But again, definitely for you, you have the Seven of Spades, literally online dating, and you have the Ace of Diamonds as well. So again, I feel like some of you could be messaging somebody or you will be getting messages from somebody as well telling you that they're interested, that they want to start with you. Um, again, Ace of Diamonds is a card to start. So, and you have two aces here. So, definite new beginnings. Uh, the two aces represent just wanting to start something new. I feel like a lot of you want to start something new again. Some of you could have fears with the Seven of Spades. It is a card of fears, worries, um, and, and things like that. But I would just let those things go. Again, Seven of Spades, internal fears that don't exist. So, let your fears go at this time. Ace of Diamonds, card of the sun. So it says the sun is shining on you. You could be getting a lot of attention at this time. People could be more attracted to you or people could be trying to get more of your attention again, especially online dating. So any of you that are single, I would say do both online dating and go out in public and try to meet people with these cards. Next, you have the uh, Two of Diamonds with the uh, Five of Spades here as well. I feel like the, um, again, this is coming up in your challenge position. As I always say, I don't really use spreads. I use kind of a loose spread where I sometimes attach meanings to certain positions. And again, this is coming up as a challenge. Um, I feel like some of you taking the risk to start something new, um, you know, again, that could be a little bit of a challenge or, uh, you know, kind of putting yourself out there. That could be the risk for you at this time. This is also a, a very stable energy. So you might be just trying to stabilize your finances at this time is what this card says. So maybe you're not interested in love or maybe you just um you know maybe you are, don't want to put that much time into love is what this card is saying at this time and that's fine of course if you want to choose to do that but this card says take a risk um it says step out there and put yourself out there because you'll find somebody obviously it looks like you know again you probably have the best reading that i've done so far as far as love is concerned so i would say get out there and try to meet somebody next you have the uh, jack of diamonds and the knight of diamonds as well 
Again, total new beginning. This card is called the Coffin, so it's kind of like the death card, and it can just represent you just starting over. And Jack of Diamonds is a very good card for just dating. Um, it is a card of like cutting things out as well. I do feel like this could say that some of you are completely moving past an X. You know, this card could say that you've completely healed from it, because again, death and also cutting some something out. So again, some of you could have cut something out of your life. Some of you could also be changing your habits I'm getting here as well. I feel like that's increasing your confidence. I don't know. I, I, like, I feel like maybe some of you are starting to work out or something. And again, maybe you're not seeing amazing results at this time, but again, I feel like you're seeing results making you more confident, which is just going to attract more people to your to you at this time. So again, I feel like this is talking about change in confidence, and I do feel like that's going to help you in a lot of ways, and it will probably attract more people into your life at this time. Uh, and finally, Nine of Hearts, and uh, let's see, Two of Clubs as well. So definitely talking to somebody. Nine of Hearts can represent like attraction from a distance as well. You could be attracted to somebody far away, literally, or you could be like sitting in a bar, you see somebody across the room and it, that could be the distance that comes in there for you i do feel like some of you could be starting something right now very slowly as well so some of you might be getting into a relationship where it just kind of starts off slow maybe you just start off talking to each other maybe it's nothing really romantic but then it turns into this which is a wish or a victory so you know i feel like some of you could be getting a wish at this time as well um some of you i would say if you're in a long distance relationship all these cards here would say that you could you two could be moving together to have a fresh start as well um or you know to, you would be closer together so you can have a fresh start so i do feel that for some of you i do feel like if some of you aren't necessarily broken up but maybe you're taking time apart or whatever i do see that if you kind of took a break from somebody or, you, you know, the two of you came to a mutual agreement to take a break, I do feel like somebody is coming back for you as well. Or again, that relationship is going to get stronger at this time. But I would definitely say take a risk. And again, Nine of Hearts, your outcome is a wish, getting something you wish for, a victory. So I feel like there's a victory here for you as well. And again, for those of you that are just talking to somebody, again, this can be you just texting. Like I said, Seven of Spades, you could be just texting back and forth. Maybe it hasn't really developed into anything just yet. I would say take your time because I feel like there, for whatever reason, that needs to happen. Yeah, I feel like for whatever reason, there needs to be time here, and I feel like that will be very beneficial. Yeah, uh, three of spades. Some of you could just be doing this because you went through a breakup. And king of spades. Um, you know, this card to me, I asked about doesn't need to take time. King of spades, maturity. It could say that you are just like starting a slow relationship with somebody because it needs to mature. It needs to turn into something you know else first. But uh, looks really good to me. So thank you for watching and enjoy your month.